In this video, I am going to tell you about the basics of Microsoft Word and tell you about the basic functionalities of Microsoft Word. This video would be helpful for beginners. By the end of this video, you will learn to make assignments on Microsoft Word with proper page formatting. To add a cover page to your assignment. Also, you will learn to add the following features. Header, footer, table of contents, alignments, bullets, number list, hyperlink, watermark, line spacing, alignment, undo, redo, save a file, save as PDF. Microsoft Word uses a ribbon interface instead of traditional menus. The ribbon contains multiple tabs with key functions which you can find near the top of the Word window. Tabs represent key functions user can using Word file. Home, Insert, Design Layout, References, Mailing, Review, View and Help. Users can zoom in and zoom out the document using controls in the bottom right corner. User can click plus or minus buttons or drag the slider to change the zoom. User can switch between different views of the document by using controls to the left of the zoom interface. 1. Adding a cover page. To add the cover page, click on the insert tab and click on cover page button. Here you can see templates of cover pages and you can select any of these cover pages. I am selecting this one. You can change the document title as you like. If you are not liking this theme, you can customize this according to your choice. I am deleting all of this text and boxes because I want to design it in my way. As I am making my university assignment, so I am going to add my university name here first. Align the text in the center by going on Home tab. Go to the alignment button and choose this button. It will make the text in center. Next, make the text bold by clicking the button. Make font size large. I am choosing 18. Now, add logo of the university on your cover page. To add a logo, you need to insert image. Go to insert tab and click on the pictures button and upload it from your computer. This image is added on the next page, so we need to do its settings, so that it can move freely. Right click on this image, go to wrap text and click on type. These settings will allow you to drag the image freely in this document. I will adjust the image to center. You can adjust yourself or you can do it by going on the format tab and then click on align button. Here you can see different alignment options. Click on align center. To insert text, go to insert tab. Click on text box and click on simple text box and insert it. Delete the text in it. Add the following information on your cover page if you are a university student. Course name, batch name, Assignment Topic Remove this outline by clicking on Format tab and click on the Shape Outline and click No Outline. Now change font size, make it 16. Change font, select Times New Roman font. Now bold the text. This makes it more representable. Align the text in center, give line spacing by clicking line spacing button. Choose the number of line spaces you want. It makes the text more readable. Choose double line spacing. Now copy this text box again and delete the text. At the bottom of the page, write submitted by which includes your name. Next, write submitted to which contains your teacher name. Add the submission date as well. Change font size. Make it small. I am choosing 12 font size. This is how your cover page will look.
After designing the cover page, I will tell you how to do formatting of your assignment pages. Go to next page. Now I will show you how to add headers and footers to your pages. To add header, go to insert and then header. Choose from a list of standard headers. Go to the list of header options and select the header that you want. As you can see, header and footer appear on each page here. You can add your assignment title and date in the header. A header is text that is placed at the top of a page, while a footer is placed at the bottom or foot of a page. Headers and footers are useful for including material that you want to appear on every page of a document, such as your name, the title of the document, or page numbers. Also, so can add text in the footer. After adding headers and footers, now let's learn how to add page numbers and assignments. On the Insert tab, click the page number icon and then click page number. Select the bottom of the page and then pick on Alignment Style. Word automatically numbers every page. Start your assignment by writing the first question. The question should be written in bold and font size of the text should be 14. Your text also contains headings, so your headings should be bold. Adding bullets. You can also add bullets or a number list. A bullet list is used when creating a list of two or more items and their order is not important. Place your cursor where you want a bulleted list. Click Home. Then go to Paragraph and then click the arrow next to Bullets. Choose a bullet style and start typing. If you press Enter, another bullet is added automatically. Adding Number List. If I want here to show numbers, then I will select the number list. A number list should be used if you are creating a list of steps or directions where the order is important. The font size of the text including the heading should be 12. Line and paragraph spacing. Line spacing and paragraph spacing is another fast and easy way to make sure your document is easy to read and attractive. For example, if you compare the line spacing of one point compared to 1.2 points, you will see a clear difference. Just that point too. Difference in size makes a huge impact when it comes to text readability. With paragraph spacing, you are changing the space over or under the paragraph. Line spacing refers to the amount of space in between your lines of text. Your text should have 1.15 line spacing because it makes your assignment easily readable. Text Alignment There is an Alignment tab here where you can select the alignment of your paragraph. Text Alignment is a paragraph formatting attribute that determines the appearance of the text in whole paragraph. For example, in a paragraph that is left aligned, the text is aligned with the left margin. In a paragraph that is justified, the text is aligned with both margins. I will justify all my paragraphs. Adding hyperlinks. Now I will show you how you can add hyperlinks to your documents. Hyperlinks are the links from the websites. It's basically the references from where you got the data or information online. You can also right click the text and click hyperlink. In the insert hyperlink box, type or paste your link in the address box. Also, at the end of your assignment, you can add different links from websites from where you got the information.
Note that hyperlinks would appear in blue color and text will always be underlined, adding watermarks. After adding hyperlinks, I will tell you how to add watermarks to your documents. To add a watermark, go on the Design tab. Select Watermark. Choose a pre-configured watermark like Draft, Confidential or Do Not Copy. You can also place the image or any logo of the company. Watermarks refrain others to copy your work. Watermark is simply that image or text that appears mainly behind the main document. It is usually a lighter shade than the text so you can read the document easily. Text watermarks are often used to categorize or to show the purpose of a document like if it is confidential or belongs to any business. Adding table of contents Lastly, I will show you how to add the table of contents to your assignment. To add the table of contents, your text should have a number of headings and sections. For this, you need to select your headings and change it into headings 1, 2, 3 respectively. After that, add table of contents. On the toolbar ribbon, select references. Near the left end, select insert table of contents. The table of contents is inserted showing the headings and page numbering in your document. The table of contents should be shown on a separate page. A table of contents is a list usually on a page at the beginning of a piece of academic writing which outlines the chapters or section names with their corresponding page numbers. In addition to chapter names, it includes bullet points of the subchapter headings or subsection headings. Undo and redo function. You can also redo and undo your work. The undo function is used to reverse a mistake such as deleting the wrong word in a sentence. If I have made any mistake like mistype, so I will undo it. I will use redo function to restore any actions that have been previously undone using an undo. If you have any spelling mistakes, the word will underline in red color to show your mistake. Simply right click and it will show the right spellings of the word. If you think that the spellings are correct, then you can click on ignore it. Saving the file. Now I will show you how you can save the document. Save your document so you don't lose all your hard work. Click File. Save, pick or browse to a folder. Type a name for your document in the file name box and click Save. Save as PDF. You can save this file as a PDF so that you don't lose the alignment of text if you print it or send it to our teacher. Save as type PDF and hit save. I hope you have understood the basic features of Microsoft Word. This tutorial would be helpful if you are new to Microsoft Word and want to learn the basics.